All right. Whoa, is that live? Hello, hello, hello. Meters say it's okay. Oh, it's just way down in the headphones. That's cool. You can deal with that. Ooh, it's not that low. I don't know. Maybe my ears are freaking out. There we go. Try that. Still got another mixer. Um, got a buddy with mixer who offered one, but I never followed up. Or I followed up once, but it was like one of those, oh yeah, hey, we should talk about that. And then we never did. So we'll have to do that at some point here and do a mixer because uh, that'll help a little bit with all this. What will also help is getting my little YouTube thingamabob up so that I can have a YouTube playlist going that I can share out and I can hear it here and you can hear it there, but it doesn't go over the stream. That is the goal. But tonight we're going to mess with NASA's image API. Um, what am I doing? PyCharm. So actually I actually need to see where I left this. Um, we got the basic image API up and we talked to it. And let's see what we got. Been a few days. Minor hospital visit in there last night. Everything's fine. According to the brain scans. Still a little numbness in my face, but whatever. It's all good. Uh, so data, NASA API. So I'm walking you through the process so I can remind myself where this process goes. First thing we did was we set up the bank against the API and we sent a query across that basically just said, um, give me uh, videos. Um, so in the search box, what that amounts to, and I'm sure they're using the same API on the back end of the search as they're using um, to actually deliver. But so basically what I did is say, just give me videos. And it's funny because in the search API, you can't, oh, maybe you can. No, yeah, you can't just say, give me videos. It X's you, but you can just say A, which is probably not really what they intended, but 5,316 videos, which is basically what I got. I think it's gone up a few, like maybe 10 um, over the past few days. But so what I did is I created a, a first one that goes through and runs that query against the API and gets these JSON results coming back. Um, the only thing I'm looking for in these basically, yeah, so media type, I basically just said, give me a query for media type equals video and throw me everything. Um, and then we had to build some pagination. Everything's different. Um, to look for the next and previous. So we had to keep going like page to page to page to page um, until you ran out of pages. Oh yeah, total hits 5,306. So from the time I first ran this a few days ago, they've added 10 videos. I'm not gonna worry about trying to stay up to date with our video count. Like you could actually do that with this, um, but that's for a future time. I've got 5,000 is enough um, for now. So that was the first step was to grab all those. And what these give you is links to uh, basically what I'm calling manifest files. I don't really know what their term specifically is. Um, is it always called collection? Oh yeah, maybe they're collection files, um, which I would call a manifest, but it's the their collection of assets. So this URL gives you this collection of stuff. And somewhere in here, generally speaking, there's one that has a tilde ORIG in it. Let's see if this one has one. There you go. So sometimes this was the first element, sometimes it's not, but I went through and did a pattern match and found ORIG dot whatever. Um, oh, sorry, the first thing I did was like, I grabbed all of these. So for all 5,000 of those, I went into this manifest JSON and I used the URLs to create an MD5 hash um, because I wanted, I didn't want to have all 5,000 of the files sitting in one directory because I can really affect performance of like running commands and stuff. So I needed a way to sort them basically. And what I did was I just applied an MD5 hash over it. Um, and so that gives you the number zero through nine and then A through F. And it put about 300 and something um, files in each one of those. So that's how I split out the files. Um, it also made let me do uh, for any given URL, it just mushed it down so I don't have to figure out another way to process and deal with the, the URLs. Database would have been another thing too, but I didn't want to actually start messing with, with 
going into a database at this point. It's been a while since I've done that. Um, probably wouldn't have taken that long to do, but this is just the route I went. The other thing this will let me do though, is when I go, if I go back and rerun all the results, I can just hash the URLs again and see if, and then verify against this if I've got them. Um, and if I do, cool. If I don't, I can go get it again. Um, so then, how far am I on this? Oh, I may be farther than I thought. Oh yeah, so here's all the original ones. Why are there only 388 of them? That seems not accurate. Okay, so I think this is a step that I'm on, especially because there's only 300 and something of them in here. Um, oh yeah, this was actually a pain. So some of the URLs that they're using aren't valid URLs because they have actual spaces in them, um, which browsers can handle okay, but uh, some of the code that you use won't. Um, but I found this Python module called requests that actually deals with it. So that was super handy and nice because I was ha gonna have to build it myself. Um, okay, so let's go figure out where that is. Get MP4s. Get individual manifests. Okay, so that's the one that pulled down the manifest files. So I'm, I'm naming these directories in the same way that I'm naming the the processes that pull them down. Like you could kind of roll this all into one thing, but really what my end goal here is to get actually this video URLs list is the last step I'm going to need for the NASA API. Um, I just want to have that as a giant list, but it needs to have all 5,000 things in there. And once I've got that, then I can move on to the video assembly part because what I'll do is uh, I'll pull in an MP3 track, I'll figure out how long it is, and then start grabbing random videos out of the URL list, pulling it down and pulling out random sections in order to do the video assembly. Um, but So I'm almost there. I need this list to just have all the files in it, and then I can move on to that next step. Um, so that's where that is. Uh, the question is, where were we on this? Um, run, get MP4. Get MP4s. All right, so we're gonna start the URL. Oh, I didn't put a, oh yeah, I remember, I didn't really have a good way to put tests on this because most of the stuff that I was doing was testing either network or like writing to files. And I don't need to test those things. Um, so we start by loading an empty JSON with the, that URLs tag. And then config, so we pass it a config file, test data configs config one. Test data, configs, config one. So we're passing it this input directory and output directory. Okay, that's fine. And so we read the input directory and the output directory, get video links. So for glob in star, star JSON recursive equals true with input directory that we just passed here, which is test input root. Uh, I wonder if this is why Oh, that's why we only have like 300 because there's only wait, why do we have that many though? Wait, I'll put root URLs, JSON. So there's 20 something. Okay. So this looks like this is done. Search term, if you find the search ORIG, when you read the manifest file, you go. Output URLs JSON. Uh, am I file for list and file? Get out of there. Search URLs JSON append, get video links. Yeah, so this should have done everything. Okay, so that's running in test. Here's the real run with config JSON, which points to the actual files. Okay, so why? Here, let's run this. Nope. 
we will not run it. Expected value line one, column one, character zero, JSON, decode, encode. What? Uh, not helping me. And get your video URLs, manifest data equals JSON load manifest. Manifest, so it's right here. Here, you know what I'm gonna do? We're gonna cheat. Actually, not really cheat. Okay, let me run this. Does this run? Okay, so this one runs. Super fast. So awesome. So for file and file list, print file. Nope. We're gonna do that here. Print. Use an F string. Parsing. Uh, file. Run that. So that's going. Right, hang on, this is the Warbly song that is not happy with me right now. Here, let's actually do this. All right, so there's all our test files. If search, so with our we do we pull in the manifest JSON, okay for item in manifest data if it matches that's when we're going to append it so i want to uh, do this found here let's make this an f string again which i'm only now getting used to found item i only now really looked up recently um pretty easy you know f for the format and then you just keep the squirrely brackets with the name of the variable or with a variable in there that you want to have sometimes it'll like it though if the, with the longer name variables just doesn't uh doesn't do as much for me so let's see this parsing found parsing found this looks like everything found something i was just using the space to fire it over so i could kind of speed read through it and see what's happening uh, okay so that's gonna go so now if we run this what do we get gotcha so it ran some of them And it looks like it's finding one in basically everything, which is a good sign. Until it gets to this one. And then it blows up. I was already at nine? Oh, it started at nine. Okay, gotcha. The order's not specified in there. It just grabs them however it gets them. Randomness. Okay, so let's look at that one. Manifest files nine, yeah, right in the middle. Nine nine eight nine. 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 Nine nine. Wait, wait. What is it? Ninety nine eighty nine. Parsing ninety nine eighty nine from manifest in nine. Oh, weird. Look at the sort nine, nine B nine, nine C nine, nine D. Then it goes to nine zero and it count, and then it goes back over to the nines to the num numeric again. That is interesting. Didn't know it did that. Nine, nine, eight, nine. Nope. Nine, nine, nine. Nine. Okay, now I really don't see it. Oh, is he gonna do it down here again? What is up with this sword order? No. I don't understand the sort order. We're gonna go to the command line. Data NASA O two nine nine nine. That um, cat nine nine eight nine. There you go. Access denied. Wah wah. I broke an API limit. 
I'm sure is what happened. I was trying to go underneath there. I wonder how many of those I got. Crap. Uh, oh, and I don't know what URL that is. I bit myself. Um, most of these look like they hit. Hey, it's so close. It's so close. Most of these look like they hit. What's up, Victor? You having a good night? So I think I'm not going to worry about that. I knew that that might be an issue at some point and I could go through. So I'm trying to one of these files that I was pulling from the API threw me an error, but I've got everything hashed from the URL. So I don't know what URL it was. I don't have a mapping. I could go through and pretty quickly actually just parse out and spit out the URLs with the hashes and figure out which file it is. Do I want to do that? I want to see why I had the access denied. I think I hit an API limit. I was, I grabbed like 5,000 files off the API. So I said I had to do it once every four seconds to stay under their limit. Um, but I, cause they give you a thousand an hour and every four seconds is like 900 an hour. Um, but I still may have pissed them off somehow. So who knows, but like most of like, I'm just glancing through most of these. Well, actually shit, I guess what I could do is access denied, right? So if I come up here, does grep work across stressed? Oh, don't be stressed. I, I don't want to ask why you're stressed, but because there's probably lots of reasons, but is it global or personal? <laughs> um, hopefully it's the global thing that may not be stressful soon. I don't know. Um, don't, don't be stressed. Write some code. It helps me. I don't know. Uh, it really does, though. It's kind of weird. Um, all right, does grep work? Yeah, basically. <laughs> I DDoS myself. Yeah, the um, I've actually DDoSed some work servers before. It wasn't exactly me, but I was involved in it, where uh, we were publishing out a web page and that web page had links to an internal server with the internal server's name and the DNS had the, the public DNS had a registration for that pri for that internal server name. So all the traffic tried to route to it, but the firewall of course blocked it, but it also just ate it because we just sent tremendous amounts of traffic to a firewall that wasn't there. So it was, and it wasn't exactly me, but I was involved in it. So it was like, eh, we kind of, Burn stuff down a little bit, but yeah, it was 2001. We were learning. Um, the web was still kind of new. Um, is grep recursive? Now nah, we'll find out. I think it is. Um, so here's yeah. So here's all the ones that have access denied. Ah, yeah. See, that's not bad at all. Was that 15, 20? I thought the word count. 13. No, oh, 22. Ooh, more than I thought. Um, okay, so I'm willing to let those 22 files out of 5,000 be okay. Um, I still, part of me still wants to know what they, like, what it actually was um, that, that threw it, but uh, whatever. I'm okay with it at this point. Uh, what are we looking for? We're looking for, so that worked. So now we need to do, so let me just take one of those files and throw that in the test so we can code around it. Uh, where am I going? So we're just going to copy that. Uh, we already have one, right? One and zero. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, zero two nine. I don't know where I want to put this yet. I don't really have tests for this because it's really just, I mean, like it's just loading JSON, reading files and spitting stuff out. So if found original, wait, but it died on this one. Hang on a second. Something's weird. Oh, because it's not JSON. It returned HTML. I understand what happened now. So yeah, I could like throw a test in here or whatever, but we're just going to code around it. Um, 
So we just do this, right? Try. Except print was not JSON. So if we run that, here, let's just throw that file in there. What was the name of it? 0296F. Copy 0296F, okay. And that's gonna go into dev, dev, div, dev, NASA, 03, test, uh oh, input root dir, zero, there. So now we've got the test file in there. If we run this again, see if we can find the one that says, yeah, here we go. Parsing was not JSON. Okay, so that should skip past them now. Oh, I did all kinds of stuff that I didn't do here. Um, I can't type. By putting URL list, skipping non JSON files. All right, let's run it and see what happens. Whole lot of stuff happening. All right. We just made a bunch of things. Let's see what happened. URLs.json. Whole bunch of URLs. Whole bunch of URLs. Survey says 5,286 URLs. Not bad. Wait a minute. Oh, 5,316. So I lost, uh, I don't know, 40 or, or I lost more than the 22. I can't remember. Whatever. It's fine. 5,000 URLs, 289 is enough. Um, Puerto Rico votes, voters declare they want US statehood. Now what? Oh, wow. Coming over there. Majority of US territory wanted the island to be a fully fledged state. Whoa. So it like I've got no idea. Is that like good thing bad th like where i mean it sounds like you know they're saying like not it wasn't any one particular party so it's like a thing like hey we want to go um i mean i'm all about it i just i don't know anything about the politics of that are you in favor of it or is it like super not so Okay, so there's there's our files. Oh, pisser, per, perseoid, pisseroid, perseoid meteor shower. Let's see what that one is. Fireworks show in August. Yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Um, oh, I should just keep that as my background all the time. Space. Space. Um, I can close that. Okay, so that's got that's got the so that's got all the URLs. So now, like the the kind of algorithm we're working off here is grab a song. Let me figure out where I put this stuff. So that's okay. That that's done. Like I got the videos. Or I got the URLs to the videos. So that's set. Video 
video assembler. New window. I don't remember where I left this one. Um, so this is the first version. Test data, configs, config one. All right, let me see if I can read back through this and figure out what's going on with this. I'm less good about remembering what my code does. So video assembler, we pass it a config. So here's the config. Got an MP3 root dir, a video URL file. Oh, okay. Is that my NAS ones? Yeah, okay. And then a video storage root dir. Did I put anything in there yet? Oh, I did. Whoa, how far did I make it on this? Oh, I remember this. I was trying to like, I had to write this little method to save a web file via a temp file while create while also creating a directory if it didn't exist, which this is, was a handy piece of code, um, which at some point I should log out. Um, my font looks super weird there. I don't know what's going on. It has the spacing of like a 20 point font, but the, it's only like a 14 point font in there. Um, all right, so hang on, let me walk through this video symbol. So we're going to run main. Here's main. So load MP3 list. This makes sense. Just grab all the MP3s, load it up in a list, load video URLs, load video URL list, right? So we just grab the JSON, we ingest it, process MP3s. Oh yeah, and I split that out to an individual video. I didn't, do I have tests on this? I do, but not really. Oh yeah, cause it's, oh. I'm so sick of updates that just pop right up in front of you. It's not cool for streaming. Um. Oh, so this gets this gets the duration of the MP3 file. I should have left a test in here that was broken so I could get back to it. Um, but again, it's kind of weird to test this because there's not like it's like network act like grab a file and pull it down. Like I mean, I guess I could have tested that, but it's weird to test it over the network and to test the file system. Like it's testing the network and the file system. So process MP3, make MP3. Make video for MP3. Put code here to get the duration and then request clip. This is weird. I don't, I'm not totally on this code yet. So make video for MP3. Yeah, we're looping through the list. We're making video for MP3. Make video for MP3. We're processing MP3. So if we just run this, what happens? Processing MP3 test. Okay, cool. They're actually outputting anything. Oh, you know what? The font's tiny. Sorry about that. Now I'm not going to be able to see what's going on. We're going to go to 19 tonight. It's going to be big enough. All right, we're printing that video URL. We're going to grab a video URL. I should add logs in here. URL hash. Video storage path. Okay, so that gets us to here. If not video storage path is file. So this just basically says if you haven't already downloaded the video, go get the video. 
Wait, so if I run this again, hang on. Every time I'm running it, it's getting the same file. Is there only one file in there in URLs? No, there's two. Kind of surprised it hasn't hit the other one yet. There it goes. Okay, so that saves out the file. Okay. What could I do to get the ration? And then request clip. Okay, so we're getting the videos. Now we need to, so. I'm not sure how to get my hooks into this right now. Because there's like, there's gonna be a bunch of randomness in here. Well, so I, I suppose, I'm trying to figure out how to test this basically. And I suppose what I could do is extract out the randomness by splitting the random functions to their own methods or their own calls and then passing in the values. Um, so, I've, cause I've got test MP3 duration. So this works, right? So I can get the, whoops, if I can hit the wrong button. That's what I can do. I still don't know what that button does. What? Okay. No, I broke it. All right, test pass. So this looks at an MP3, MP3 file and gets the duration off of it. So how... And I'm pulling down those videos. I can't figure out how to test it. All right, so I like that. Let me just, I'm just gonna walk through these again, just to see if I can get my head around them. So save web file. So this is just, you, you send it a URL and a file path and it pulls the URL down to the file path. I'm not gonna worry about testing that. That's just doing this thing. Process MP3s is just a loop that goes over the MP3 list. Pick a video. Oh, okay, so pick, pick video. Where's press or get MB3s? Video URL, pick video. What would be helpful? Return a random URL for a random video. Um, I'm just going to add docs here Loop through all the MP3 files and run the process to make the videos. I don't know why. Oh, maybe it needs to be double quotes for that. So like that better. Why is it all underlined with gray? Oh, there it went. down a URL to a file while making any necessary directories. This one makes directories necessary for a file to be saved. I have my window open and bugs are starting to get in because the screen is not solid anymore.
Because the, the trick with this is... I'm going... So when I pull down... So I'm randomly going to select a video out of the list. And I'm going to pull down that video. And then I'm going to clip that video automatically into scenes. Which I guess we can just do that now. Which also not is not really a testable thing. Like it's just I guess I could be testing the command to do that. I'm still I'm still unsure where the test boundaries are here. Um Put code here to get the direction and then request the clip. Yeah, all the stuff goes into the request clip function. It returns a clip if necessary. I'm just going to keep working. I can't figure out how to test it. Because you would... <sighs> yeah, the test command, like you're just building a test command, or you're just building an FFmpeg uh, concat command, or split command. Wait a minute, I forgot the name of the thing that I was using to split. Scene detect. Split on scene detection, that's it. We're gonna move that way up, because that's happy. Okay. So I guess what I could do... Pick video could actually return no so that's the pick the video so that's fine we're going to pick the video we're going to get the URL hash yeah so what we should do It's as long, excuse me, as long as there's still a duration left. I'm bouncing around to this all over the place. I know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna write something here and we'll see what happens. If not, video storage path is file, get it. And then here. We need to make the directory. To store the files. Which is going to be. That that that. Clips. Make dir. And then, where's our other make dir stuff? Make dir parents exists okay, true. Two dots, we only need one dot. Oops. Yeah, so whatever, this is gonna be, I'm not gonna like test this, test this. Even though I will regret that. Still can't figure out how to get into it. That's the wrong one. Uh, video assembler. Oh, also dev, video assembler, test data, video storage route. I'm going to burn both of those. So this should make the file. So it's pulling it down. Oh, I can't remember one of these might be huge. No, okay, I got it. That's fine. And did it also make the directory for it? Yeah, and there's the clips directory. Okay. 
So now we just make the scene detect command, which I'm not sure works. Dev video assembler. Oh, scene detect is installed at the system level. Cool. Um, so split command equals all this where that's going to be that and that could be that and we're going to take out list scenes and just do split video format with uh okay so let's do this Yeah, see, this is where I should be like splitting stuff out for doing testing. But I'm kind of already through this mess and I recognize it's gonna break some, but such is the way that it's gonna go right now. All right, so we're making that directory, clip directory. So here's, we're gonna output to clip directory. That's gonna be the second one. The first one is going to be video storage path. So this should run. Well, actually, I don't know if you pass. Ooh, that's interesting. Ah, I need to make that a list because we're going to be passing it to Well, hell, I might as well just put it there. Um, Subprocess run. Rub process, totally different thing. Oh, we already got subprocess. Oh, we're already doing it right here. Uh, but I am not necessarily interested in the results in this one. That'll probably bite me in the butt, but we'll see. So we're just gonna run this. Subprocess run. That. That. That, which we'll fix in a second, that. That, 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 I feel like I'm off somewhere. Okay, that's the end. Do a storage path, goes here, clips directory, goes here. There it is, missed it. Scene detect, input, video storage, output, clips directory. So that needs to be that. Detect content, T for whatever. How do all that stuff get down there? What's going on there? Split video, close. All right, we can bring that down a little bit and see what's going on here. Scene detect, I, video, output, output directory, detect, threshold 27, because sure, why not? Put that there. Okay. Now I get rid of these. To do clip videos.
Okay, so if I delete that again. Oh, don't drag and drop. That's bad. All right, so if we delete that. Now if we run it, let's see if this makes the clips for us or if it explodes. All right, so it's grabbing the file. Oh, I should have looked and seen if this is the big one or not. Yeah, I need to find a smaller video. Yep, definitely a big file. Oh yeah, it's like a 30 minute presentation about something. Um, oh, I should look and see your LS via assembler configs. Where's the main data, the actual data? So one thing I wanna do So that's the straight manifest. Search type, whatever here, come here 10. I need to see data NASA 01. Twelve, page twelve, because there might be no, oh, maybe not. Yeah, okay, they are all public domain. See if this finished. Oh, hey! Wait a second. It's doing a thing. It should be putting them in there. So this this process takes a while. So it's gonna take a while to assemble these videos. Um, oh, it's still, it's still doing its investigation. Yeah. Detecting scenes. So it's going through right now, um, and finding the places to split it. Um, I'd used scene detection in FFmpeg before and it didn't work particularly well. Um, after some reading, it sounds like there's keyframes and videos that aren't necessarily at scene splits. And the scene detection would use those keyframes often. So it'd miss and you'd, you'd get right before, well, usually it would happen before a scene is when you really noticed it. So you, it would clip to something and like two seconds later, it would clip, it would jump scenes again. Um, so that was not the greatest. Yeah, it's gonna take a little while. Um, yeah, this is gonna take a long time. I, so I wonder if I should, Part of me is wondering if I ought to put this up on an EC2 instance and just burn it through it that way. Um, just get like a beefy machine and pay like 40 bucks for a day or something just to try it. Because I've never done that before. It'd be an interesting test. Well, actually with a beefy machine, it may be like $7 or something. Okay, so this this part's gonna work. I mean, it's all gonna work eventually, but um, 
Oh, so I know what I need to see. So I need to wait for this process to finish, and then I need to get the EXIF data off of this to see if it includes durations of the videos that it's split out. I really hope it does. Otherwise, this is going to get way more complicated. Um, oh, it's only 1280 at 720. Interesting. Um, I, for some reason, I was thinking that would all be bigger videos, but of course that's not true. They're all different sizes all over the place. 27%. Yep, so got a little time to go. Oh, wait, this is the giant one. Ah, uh, hang on. How big is this file? This file's huge, isn't it? Yeah, 38 minutes. Okay, wait, 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 screw this. Can I stop it? Okay, it exploded. Cool. Uh, let's find a different video. Your else. Episode 8, 20, so I need to find... See, I think some of these are just like um, shows and stuff. There we go, 3 minutes and 51 seconds. We like this URL. Yeah, we're just going to put one in there for right now. All right, run that again. See if this goes faster. And we're going to delete the 634. Yeah, that's a better speed. Get rid of this one. Output from FFmpeg for scene one, shown above, splitting remaining scenes. Cool. Is the original, there's Eclipse. Surprised it didn't clip it there. Well, that's okay. That got a good clip because that was the next one. Oh, this is going to be so weird. All right, so we got that. So now what we can do is go look. Test data, video storage, dir, eight, whatever, clips. Megapixels. Oh. Ah, duration. Excellent. So now what we need to do, this is all just straight procedural at this point. So that splits the video. I still feel like there needs to be a way to jump in and test there. Hey, man. Yo. Happy November 4th. It's weird that it's November. Not as weird that it's the 4th. I don't know. Got nothing. Um, Trying to do my video assembler here 
and I'm pulling down, I'm splitting out videos to get them ready for the reassembly from all the NASA footage. I've got it working. Doo -doo -doo. But now I got to figure out how to. <laughs> right? Ah, the election. We should know who's president by uh, 2023, I think. It's the timing on that. I, uh, I did not. I, I was otherwise occupied. Um, so we say, so shall we say a little, had a little health thing go on. So I was, uh, I was visiting, visiting the ER during all that. Everything's good, but had a little, had a little weirdness going on with the face getting numb. Got some MRI scans, some CT scans. They said everything's cool. So whatever. Um, all right. So now I got to pick one of these, uh, pick one of story time. Oh, I should have done story time. Hashtag story time. Uh, now I gotta pick one of these and then grab the duration. I used to try and test my code, but I can't figure out how to test anything in this one because it's all just external commands. So now I'm just doing procedural stuff and starting at the top. So if the video is not there, you're gonna grab it. But this still feels yucky. Um, all right, so we've got ah, shit. Yeah, I still I can't figure out how to get how to get my head into testing this because I need to get. Cause it's just doing like subtraction and addition stuff. I don't know. Um, so I want to get a random video from let's see, get random clip from and then we'll just pass it the URL hash. <sighs> Shit. I'm just going to put it here and see what happens. Um, random uh, list of clips equals Glob, glob. Uh, clips directory. Whoops, might help to put that in here. Star dot, they all are what's MP4s. Start MP4. All right, so there's our list of clips. So we should all, this should just burn out real quick. Oh, I exploded it. What do you mean? Oh, local variable. Oh, cause I assigned that here. Gotcha. Let's move that up and do this. that work? There we go. So those are all clips in a very random order. Okay, cool. Uh, so then we want to do random clip path equals list of clips. Rand int of one to length of random clips. I apparently don't have random in here yet. Yeah, I do. What's going on? Why is that angry? Because I didn't spell it right. 
There we go. So this should just give us one. <sighs> nope. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. Method object is not scripted. What? Is this right? Hmm. So we got a list of clips. That should be. There's a list, right? It looks like a list, okay. And then, like, if we did list one, right? Okay. Rand in. Oh, it needed to be prints, not a bracket. There we go. So, length list of clips. Should be this. So we should get a path, right? There's a path at 29, there's a path at 28, there's a path at 44. All right, there's our random path. Random clip duration. Where's our EXIF tool? Can we just call it get duration? See if this works. Even though it's the one for the MP3s, it might still work here. What do you call that? MP3? It's totally not, but we'll see what happens. Print, random clip duration. Nope. What? Oh, self. None type has no object group. That didn't work so good. There's a path. EXAF tool for the path, or EXIF tool, whatever. Grabs duration. Does minutes and seconds. Uh, I guess we'll have to do it the hard way. So here's our path. Oh, well, actually, I guess I was there already. Four point is oh, okay. Wait a minute. I thought we already handled that. Did not. It's looking for. Divided by colons, which is the name of my new death metal album. Uh, this we can actually test a little bit. And before clip duration. You know what? I'm one day going to remember that I have a hotkey set up for that. Everybody good? Yeah. So this is looking at scene 01. And that gave us four seconds. So we're gonna look for four. We're gonna start by finding four. Make sure everything's good. Get clip duration. MP4 equals something right now. We're just gonna throw this in to get the pipe working. I 
I'm naming these differently, but right now I don't care. Turn four, we green again. We're green, okay. Now we can actually make it go. Uh, let's pass the file. Before that, we did scene one, right? We did original scene one. So MP4 equals MP4, that's all good. Come back here. So, let's see. Response sub process dot run. Exif tool MP4. We're going to copy all the rest of that. all that so now match search duration whoops bunch of spaces some spaces oh crap some of these might be longer no they're probably already within seconds right oh i need shoot no i need to i need to actually put this all in the same thing yeah, because sometimes these MP3s, well, they'll all be long enough, but sometimes these will be longer in minutes, right? Oh, seven seconds. I could probably get away with it. I'm going to try and get away with it. I saw a media file provided by Google Inc. Oh, interesting. Yeah, we're just going to try it. See what happens. So, digits. I don't care about those digits. that. So there's our match with response as its input. It's all working still. Yep, still passing. I'm assuming these clips won't go into minutes, so I don't need to do this minutes to seconds. So I can just return match group one. Test failed. Ah, needs to be a int. Still failed. Four is not equal to four. Oh, because in the tat, what? Uh, 
Ah, I know what's going on. I need to int this. Not that. Try that now. Success. Okay, so that gets the clip duration. Okay, so we're from list of clips, random clip path, we get that random clip duration. What did we call this? Get MP4 clip duration. All right, so we get we got that. Now all we need to do is count down. The clip. So processing MP3 file. This is ugly. Um, Should see the duration pop up. Nope. Self. Gotta start doing that. One, but two are given. MP3 equals MP3. I'll get the hang of this here in a minute. 106 seconds with a two second thing. Okay. Oh, actually, so I can test this with just one without having to get a whole bunch of different videos. That's cool. Um, I'm still gonna put a second. I want two URLs in there. How long is this one? Ooh, pretty. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. All right, so here's our second URL. For URLs. So now it's got a chance to get one or two, and this will help me test a little bit just so I can see some variation. Um, all right, so we're getting our duration. So while MP3 duration is greater than zero, This is getting close. So it's pulling a new video. It's doing the scene detection on the new video. Splitting the new video. This is all here, right? If not, yeah, okay, so that's in there. So this will be the longest part 
and mo so most of the videos, most of the time, well, there's a thousand songs, or there's 1500 songs, and there's 5,000 possible videos, so one in five, I don't know how to do the math about how many of those will actually be pulled down. Um, I'm gonna have to watch storage on this. I probably need to hook up. Oh, bummer. List out of range because it is zero indexed and not one indexed. And it just tried to hit the end. Pick video, rant. Yep, see, there's, there's why I did the minus one. I want this exact same piece of code wherever I did that other one. Did I get that right? Length minus clip minus one. Yeah, okay, that looks right. So now if I run it again, all the videos should be down. Yeah, so it's just popping right through them. Oh, why is it saying zero duration? Crap. Original scene 44 in 8E. Let's see what that's doing. Scene 4, yeah, zero seconds. Boop, okay. So we don't want those. make it greater than two. Yeah, we'll do it greater than one. Yeah, yeah, one. We'll see how it goes. We'll take a look at them. Two. So, if we do that. Oops, that's when we actually drop it. Because that's where we'll, this is where we'll assemble the ffmpeg command to do the uh, or the ffmpeg concat command. Ooh, why is it taking so long? All of a sudden, oh, there it goes. That's looking pretty good. Oh, so we should do. show I just want to see its duration dang yeah, to see it counting down cool okay so that's it Go to pull and split videos is working. So now we just need to assemble the F of impact command. Um, Video clips out of music. No, I did that. GIF with concat. No, that's the other one I figured out before I found FFmpeg concat. Where did we put that?
scratch pad still open? Let's take a look in there. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Selenium test web, YouTube, scratch pad. Storage domain. I'm gonna be bummed if I didn't actually save my concat stuff. Cause I got it working. I feel like I'm missing it. Regex find and play sets, temp scratch pad. No. Storage. It's all the NASA results. Domain parsing, Bado, credentials. Make MP4. Excuse me. Make string, hash with numbers, S3, Safari Selenium test, web, YouTube. Crap, what did I do with it? I can't believe I didn't put it in. Uh, nope. Did not. No, oh, go figure it out again. That seems so weird. That scene detect. Wait a minute, here we go. No, that's the other one. Oh, or is it? Hang on a second. Ah, this is it, this is it, this is it. Conf JSON, okay, 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 here we go. So the command we need to make is basically these two. So I've got, all this is the splits. thinking about it. Let me do this. There we go. Um, okay. Oh, no. Oh, this is it. It was sitting under this scratch pad. Ugh, too funny. Oh yeah, this is the first one. I didn't need to do this because this does all the cuts and all the path. This was the first iteration of this, which I didn't, I ended up not actually needing to do because I found other things to do it, so. Uh, say la vie. What is this? Test video assembler. Expected for. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, a lot of tests there. So in assemble video, what we're trying to do is build... So if the clips... Clips for output is just a list. If it's long enough, we're going to append the clip path. 
Why is that angry? Shouldn't be angry. That's angry. Okay. So that gives us all of our clips. This is so gross. Cat command equals so we're going to burn all these. Where do I want to put the config? So we're going to symbol dot JSON. Let's get this file created first, which we're going to call concat config JSON. All good. Okay, so that's just the oops. Come on. Oh, so we need to know. Ah, crap. So we need to know the number. We gotta write out that file too. Crap. Um, okay, so <sighs> let's just write the concat command first. video.mp4. Okay, so let's just get these things rolled in. So and then this format. So the paths that we need to pass it are Oh, we need an output root. I got away from the testing stuff on this one and it's just kind of falling apart, but. Video output root dir. Grab this and use it down here somewhere. I am not proud of this code. And then clips are output. Join clips or output. What's the Python join syntax? I don't know that. I really wish the docs would show you stuff right up front. I feel like I shouldn't have to go to different websites for that. What exactly does the join method do? I'm going to stack. Okay, so you do dot join. Wait. Oh. So is it this? That doesn't look 
look right. It looks angry. Oh, not so angry anymore. Oops. Didn't need to print it every time. I, I should just make this go better. There's our command. Oh, it did one and seven a lot. Something smells fishy with that. That was just randomness. All right, so that is the assemble command. Now we need to have it do. All right, I gotta, I gotta back some of the stuff into tests because this is just I'm losing my mental map of it. I mean, I can keep it kind of like chunk by chunk, but it's just it's not in a good place. Um, let's save this first. All right, so what do we want to, how do we want to do this? Um, pick URL, you get a URL, you get the hash. You get the storage path. See, I feel like all that stuff should probably be the same in the same thing. If it's not there, go get it and split it. Yeah, so we can split that out. I was going to call that get and split video. Again, like there's not a solid way to test in on that. Well, so what I should do, actually, hang on, let's back this off. I think I got a handle in here for a second. So we get a random URL from pick video. Video object. This is almost going to be a class, but not totally. So, okay, 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 here we go. Uh, crap, but how do you do it with a... 
The randomness is what's throwing me on the way to test. So we'll split out the randomness. So we've got our video URL. And now we want to make Really what we want is a new class, right? Should I make a new class here? Video class, I'll just make it video, whatever. Yeah, I should probably do that. Yeah, this is, both overkill and not overkill for doing this type of thing, but it's I I need to get better at testing, and this is a good time to get better at testing. Um, so it is going to be time to get better at testing. Test video pi. Whoops. Report unit test. Whoops, that was weird. From simple videos, import video. I already had that. No tests. Yeah. Um, class video test. Unit test, test case, whoops. V equals video, we're gonna global V. Name, main, unit test, main, go. Round one test, everything's okay. Okay, so we've got our video. This should definitely be in its own file, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Um, so the first thing we wanna do is pass a URL to it, which we're actually gonna grab a URL, legit one, maybe. No, I'm not gonna do that yet. I'm just gonna do example. So that should blow up now because we're not expecting to pass it. Yep, it takes no arguments. Cool. No, whoops. Uh, we want to do this, right? Guess we can just call it URL. Right, it's, we're already in a video class, so we can just call it URL, right? Why is Cell freaking out? Oh, just because it's waiting for me to do that. All right, happy again, happy again. Where's the rest of the uh, stuff that it used to show us? Used to have a whole bunch of other crap over here, or would show you test results. Run it. Print, clear all, pen tab, favorites. Nope. I don't know why it changed. Hmm, who knows? Uh. 
See, that one has all this stuff over here. And it shows me test pass. What's the difference? Weird. Who knows? Okay, so we got the URL move in. Now what we want to do is get the hash. Hmm. Actually, you know what I want to do is... I want to make all these method calls. For like getters and setters. And I don't know if that's like Pythonic or whatever, but like it's again, just trying to practice stuff up here. Um, so we want to get this. from that, which doesn't exist. The string is not callable. In order to fix that, we need to make that private. Now we should get a different error, whoops. Ooh, it's running it. Oops, I need to get off that. Video has no attribute URL. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. So def URL self return. And the reason I'm thinking about doing this is I want to have I want to have all the methods. I want to have everything be a method call because one of the things we want to do is get the hash right. Uh, where am I going? Because we need. We want the hash and we want the duration to be in there. What am I looking for? Get URL hash, right? Yeah, so this, I should just be able to call hash basically. Um, That was not the right thing to type, nor that. There we go. URL hash. I'm gonna assume that we do the math right here because we've already done the math right. So that's gonna bust. Actually, we can leave that for a second. Let's stay as on green as we can be. So v dot hash, uh, URL hash, sorry. We wanna make sure it's a URL hash. Cool. So that's gonna fail. Oh, two errors. There's a second error. Maximum recursion depth reached, what? What is that? Oh, whoops. I see what's happened. Let's try that. I thought I was passing. I was not. Now I am. Calling its own method. Decided that was bad for me which is, I agree with. Now it's not working, cool. So come here. We're just gonna steal this code from down here. It's a very long line to return straight, but let's be okay for now. And now it's gonna fail because the we're not actually doing the hash. We're gonna cheat and put it in this way. 
Kind of going in reverse, but that's okay. So there's our hash. Yeah, so video URL equals pick video. Let's start putting this in. So So if we run this, everything should still function. Sweet. And now here we should be able to do V dot. Oh wait, we don't actually have to assign that. We can put this here, V dot URL hash. That should still work. Yep. Yeah, and slowly but surely, it should be able to actually burn these out. URL hash, URL hash. Uh, let's use the find command. I love how PyCharm pauses one for you before it goes up to the top again. Okay, so that's it. So we should be able to delete this and still run. Yep, which means we can also delete this one. I don't think we put a test in there for that. We probably should have. Yeah, that should have had a test on it. It does now. So where else is video URL used? URL equals there, okay. Go, go, go. URL list, those are different. URL list, URL file. So this should work again. Yeah, so I'm just kind of moving stuff out a little bit. Getting a random video, video storage path. So we can move all this stuff up into the video. Oh, maybe. The store, ah, the storage path. Yeah, we can actually lift all of this stuff out, which I like. This will help with the test a little bit. So,
the other thing that we should pass in is a storage root directory. Wrong one. Test data. Oops, we're gonna come there, don't we? Video storage reader. So now this is gonna fail because we're not passing the right number of things. Now it should work again. Everything's okay. You know, I want to do, I want to move this out to its own thing. Don't totally know if this is the right way to do this, but we're going to find out someday. that there we go it wants two lines okay so we save that and then for our test video here let's get rid of this for a minute let's get rid of all this for a minute just to clear the decks from video do video got it so if i run this we all cool we're cool okay so there's video here's the symbol videos which we really should call video assembler. Yeah, why not? Video assembler. One of these days I want to move tests down into like a test directory. To Jill. Okay, let's bring video assembler back up. So what we want to do is continue to hold. Oh, so we actually are going to need to, this is going to break. What happens if we test this right now? Does the test still pass? It should, because it's independent, right? Yes. But if we actually tried to run it, it's going to explode, because video is not defined. From video, import video. Don't know if that's the right way to do it, but it works. No, oh, it didn't. No, storage reader. Okay, yeah, so we gotta pass that. Is that angry? There it goes. Okay, working again. All 
All right, let's continue to hoist this stuff out of here. So video storage path. Which we only need if we're saving it or clipping it. All right, I gotta make a pit stop. Be right back. Also got some yogurt covered pretzels, which are awesome. I'll try not to chew on Mike. So like when you call the video, You should just go ahead and do everything. Like all that stuff should be hoisted over to it.
be a storage path. Original. Oh, it may or may not be an MP4 though, right? We're gonna call it that for now. Uh, I think they're all MP4s. So this is gonna fail because it's not equal. Oops, don't know what that was. What was that? How did I get to that? Oh yeah, look at that. Craziness. Was that, oh, cheese content to paste. Nice. Got our hashes, got all the other stuff. All right, here's a test though. A quick brown fox. I didn't spell any of that right. How did I get to it that way? Oh yeah, see? Only well, problem is that could show high passwords if you're not careful. Don't like that at all. Um, so that's good. Now we're going to do actual equals v dot storage path. will fail because we don't have a storage path. Storage path, return, whoops, that, run it, test are passing. And really what we want is I don't know why I like doing um, setting the thing before just straight returning it, but I do. Um, storage dir. URL hash. Oh, I guess we should actually make storage dir its own thing. Yeah, why don't we go ahead and do that? Just um it's just the process, right, of keeping it all in the same the same mix. So comment this out for a second. Guess I should have actually done that before I um so we want this just gonna equal this, so we're gonna run this, just make sure our test pass, whoops. Make sure our test pass. Everything's okay. Actual v dot storage path. So that'll fail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Storage root dir. Sorry. That's what I wanted. I was confused. Storage root dir. Storage root dir. Still gonna fail. Failed. Now here, I don't have any problem not making a, uh, a thing. But I do, yeah, I do like it. I do like pulling everything via methods. I know that's like a thing. Getters and setters and all, but like sometimes I've been hitting variables directly, but like I really kind of like this practice. I hope you can't hear that. I don't think again. It sounds very loud in my mouth, though. I 
really just want to call it storage path because we're already in the video class. Now we come back here. Now is when we make storage path. All right, tests are passing. Definitely a bug on the screen. It looks like a comma. So here we can just walk through and see where our progress is going. Yeah, we just need to do slash original. Again, I, I could go through. Oh, actually, you know what I can do real quick is just scan. Oh, there's a dot move. Ah, crap. Okay, so now storage path changes a little bit. Uh, we can't do it yet. Actually, so we can leave this. If this works, that's fine. We can get rid of this. So this this is green for now. That's that's test that works for now. This is good. I would I would have I would have missed this if I hadn't been testing. And saved MP4 files as MOV, or MOV files as MP4 files. Might not have mattered, but like, I like the idea of like, you know, making it right. Okay, so. Also, this is making me happy in terms of like, expected actual test, expected actual test. And just calling individual methods like that's I like this clean kind of testing stuff. So now what we need to do is one dot MP4. Now here's the question is, do you do? Would you do global setup? For the other ones, because I need to I need to test one where the video is an MP4 and one where it's an MOV just to get the test going. And I could just make a new class. First, let's see if that runs now that I've added all that in there. Nope, it does not. Ah, because the hash changed. Of course it did. Oh, that's interesting. So I'm now testing something twice. But that's kind of okay. I don't have a better way to do that. Because um, I'm testing the hash here, and I'm also testing it here. Um, which you could lift that out or do whatever. Um, I don't know if I want to do... Yeah, I don't think I want to rebuild... The thing. So I'm going to back this out. I want to get the green again. There we go. I'm going to call this V1. And just name all these v1 and make sure all of our tests still pass so we can stay green that way and we're gonna call this one.mp4 which is gonna break a whole bunch of stuff so we need to change this out and this out, and I think we're going to need to change this out too. Yep. Okay, there are tests.
Yeah, so test storage path. MP4. Test storage path, MOV. Now here's where it's gonna get tricky, right? Cause I've gotta do global v2, v2, 2.mov, move. Storage drawer is all the same, that's all fine. So let's just make sure everything works. So now expected, well, I don't actually know what all the expected is going to be, but I'm just going to make sure this is working here for a second. Uh, so we'll do this and then so I don't I don't want to stop this test from working so I'm going to build in a new place to start with which is going to be storage path 2 storage path dev and v2 so that's not going to exist, which is, so it's going to blow up. That's fine. Because what we can do is really quickly here, get back to green. So there's our green. Should have done this. So there's a green again. And now we can actually do this. And this is going to blow up because of our URL hash is going to be different because we don't know what it is yet. But I'm going to cheat and just steal it. Because that's not what we're testing. It just happens to be in the test. Which there's probably a purity thing of why not to do that, but whatever for right now. Okay, so there, there's what we're targeting. And now what we need to have happen is the same fun, the same method be able to use for both places. Because right now one is hard-coded MOV and one is hard-coded hard -coded MP4, MP4, whatever. So I'm going to work in the dev one because I don't want to affect the other test right now. The idea being that m many other things may be pointed to that same storage path. So we're going to do the work here. So good. So I think we can do this, but I'm actually curious to see. Where's Code Runner? Code Runner is not alive. It's okay. We'll get our scotch pad. Um. Wow, that was off. Yeah, 
names. File, base name. So run this, yeah. So this one strips out and gets you the file name, just the file name. Because I saw on Stack Overflow there's an answer for this, but it, like it didn't deal with cases like with two dots or with two things like this. Um, and sometimes it would not deal with different path pathing things or whatever. So this was kind of an attempt to get just the part that you needed. Um, so I should blog that at some point. Why not? It may already be up on the blog. Who knows? Um, but now file extension. So the question is, so I want to do this same loop through all, like those are all the things that I could come up with for possible ways to look at file extensions or for file names. File base name. And then you split and you get the zeroth object. Oh, okay, right. I gotcha. And then to get the lat to get the extension, right? You do minus one. Uh, but there might not be an extension. Interesting. Oh, you know what I should do uh, is actually test on this. A little bit of a rabbit hole, but I want to do it anyways. Yeah, I do want to do it because I want to I, like I want to solve this once and not have to worry about it again. Um, also, rid of Google for it. Split text. Glad I didn't spend too much time on that. So here's the question. Whoops. Hey, why'd you do that? Interesting. File name, file extension. Okay. File name, file extension. With example path. Print. That looks pretty solid, is what that looks like. Uh, let's just do this.
I'm also used to like some of my head is still like in Pearl Land where like you'd have to make your own stuff. To, I'm sure there's stuff out there to do it, but like I had to fight through some of the stuff on my own before. Possibly because I didn't know how to search well. Okay, yeah, so this is cool. That's perfect. We have a solution. Uh Hello. All right, so here is our code that we want to hit. So, whatever, file path, file, extension equals that with our URL, right? Self URL, hit it. File path. And then we just need to import OS up here. And then put our file extension here, maybe. Let's see if this works. Nope. Oh, got two dots. So it kept the dot with it. Let's try it again. Sweet. That works. Okay, cool. So we can take that and now the question, and so the way that I want to test this, right, is it's already working. This path is already in use or that storage path method is already in use. This is the new one we did. So all I'm going to do is forward this one to that one and see if that works. Because if so, that means that the tests that were pointed at this one work with this one. And they do. Okay, cool. So now I can rename that to the new one and point our test to that and all of our tests should still pass. There we go. Now that's done, we can get rid of this. So that's got our path for storing the file. And so now that we've first fired up the video, whoops, wrong way, go that way. Uh, let's commit that. We haven't actually committed this file yet, I don't think. All right, so now that we've got the storage path, so we can nuke this. Let's just keep chipping away at this. Storage path, storage path, storage path, storage path. Lots of storage path. Because eventually we're going to hoist all this stuff into that class, but I want to keep chipping away at it here. Um, what we should be able to do, and again, I don't have a good test suite on this, so we'll see what happens. V dot storage path. Now with luck, this will all still run. What just happened down there? Why didn't that work? String has to attribute is file. Oh, because it's not actually a path. I got it. Got it, got it, got it. Now the question is, yeah, we should change that into a path object. That's fine. Let's leave that there for a second. Just run, make sure we're still running. Yeah, okay, that still works. So let's change storage path into a path object. Which I forget how to do. From pathlib, import path. And I actually don't know, can you just do that? Or is that gonna freak things out? Definitely freak things out. That's okay. I 
I think it's fine to keep it as a path. We'll see if that bites us in the ass later. Storage root dur. Make that a path. Make that a path. Are we happy again? We're happy again. Okay, sweet. And so now, come back down here. Somewhere around here. And see if this slots in. That did not slot in. Okay, so that's working, so we can get rid of this line. All right, so that's our video storage path. So now when we first call this, I don't want to I don't want to do it on the init, but I want to have a process video where we go through and pull down the video and then make all the clips for it. Which I'm not sure if there's a good way to test for that because it's testing grabbing a video and then over the net and then clipping it with a command. So and I don't feel like that's super testable. I mean you can, but like it just you're testing network connections again. Cause like if it doesn't exist, oh, we need to pull See, this is all the stuff we need to do. This process just saves stuff. Oop, don't do that. We need you to be your own thing. You go there. Pass that. So we've got our URL and we've got our storage path. We can actually, we don't need to pass those. We can do those via instance variables in a second, but here's, yeah, let's back through this for a second and do it from start to finish. So get and clip video. Um, Let's make these their own things. Get video from URL. So if it, uh, where's it exists? If not, video storage pack. So here we go. Where do you steal this? Self storage path is file. I don't know if there's a good way to split this out and do its own thing. So this is. Yeah, we don't need to have it, its own method there. It's just a straight call. So this is what gets um, what's going to grab the video using requests. I should really have logging on this, but we're not there yet. So 
So get requests. That should fix all those. Self URL. URL. Storage path, storage path, storage path. So this saves it as a temp file first. So that it, if it gets interrupted, you can pick back up. Um, or it doesn't, you don't leave an incomplete file there. Because the way that it picks the file is it looks to see if the file's there. And if it is, it goes on to the next one. So you don't want a half a file there. You want to make sure that the full thing's there. So this is just going to get the video if it doesn't exist. And there's not... This is just going over web stuff. So there's not like a good way to test this. Like I trust that this response from the NASA is 200 if it's legit. Um, getting the directory of the storage path. Yeah, I mean, the only way to really test this is to run the thing and see if it goes, um, which we'll do. So that's getting it. Now I need a clips directory. Uh, which I guess we'll just do in alphabetical order. Build our test. Clips root directory. So we'll bang this off of V1. be all this with clips behind it. Just run that, make sure everything passes. Yep. That's going to explode as expected. this right now we'll just whoops just to get passing we'll do that Passing. Now we can build this for real. So that's going to be storage dir or storage path. Sorry. This will be self dot. Whoops. Let's put it in squirrelies. Self dot URL hash clips. We still passing? No. Exploded, and I don't know what. Okay, so that's working. Four. I should be pulling this one. I was using V1 has this MP4 path, and I picked the path from the V2. 
Let's see if that's happier. Still failing, but what is all... Uh, I also understand what's happening. I was calling the wrong thing. Now I'm super confused too. Okay, so V1, root clips rooter, V1 storage path from P4. That should be the hash. What am I missing? Oh. I did have the right path. Okay. So now, try this again. Self, URL hash, clips, go. Passing. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. So there's our clipster. So we've got our file. Yeah, so really what we need to do is we need a... We need something to basically set... We need to run this whole process. So get video from URL. And then we define the clipster, and then we make the clips. Yeah, so storage path clips, and then if it's not there, we get it. We make the clipster if it doesn't exist. And then we run all the scene detect stuff on it. I wonder if it's worth just putting that all in one. Yeah, I think it is. We're going to do that. No, we're not. So what do I call this, getting clip? So the first step would just be to get it. And then we clip it. Well, yeah, what's the point in that? You would just call it separately, right? Again, there's not a super good way to test this. I could. So I've, I've got the clips path. I've got this. The URL. And then we've got the storage path. Those are tested. Yeah, so clip video really is just. We've already pulled it down, so that's. We don't need to do that. We do need to make sure that the clip path exists. Because we've already made sure that the file gets downloaded. But this path still needs to exist. Cool. And then once we've got that, we make the command to do it. So there's sub process. Scene detect. So 
storage path. Eclipse root directory. Yeah, so we do want to have a, a git and clip video. Hey, what up, Steve? How you doing, sir? Everybody say hi to Steve. How goes the results? Do we do we have a winner yet? Do I want to know? <laughs> I've been so blissfully out of it. Maybe not blissfully. Uh, there was a CAT scan and MRI involved, but it's a different thing. That's a, it's a whole different. You see somebody talking about story time. Had a little, uh, had a little minor thing go on. Everything's cool, but had a little uh, scare, whatever. Um, turns out when your face goes a little bit numb, that's not the greatest thing in the world. So. Electoral votes. You can find some on the couch, man. Or maybe that's on the couch that uh, Jay took back to uh, Tunsil. You have to go ping her and see if it's uh, if there. Is she made it back yet, by the way? I'm assuming she's already there, right? Uh, where do we want to put this? I feel like it should be up here. And we don't need to call it video because we're already in the video class. And all this is going to do. <laughs> I heard the greatest joke today. Uh, do we know when Ed is going to get here? Does it have a does it have an ETA? I laughed. And I laughed. And I laughed. Um. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, I thought it was pretty solid, and it it took me like two beats to get it. I was because like just straight past me for like a couple seconds, and I was like, "What?" Ah, uh, I like it. All right, we're gonna get it. We're gonna clip it. Yeah, the uh, the Discord was lighting up today. I saw. I looked at it every now and then, and there's like seventy messages that blew past. Apparently, people are into what's going on and everything. But who would have thunk? Uh, all right, these all look okay. So the question is, can we get rid of this one now? List of clips. So can we get rid of all this junk? And just do this. Does that really take care of all that? Let's find out. Mm, oh, whoa, 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 it's working. Look at that. Stop. I wasn't ready for it to actually work. Uh, <laughs> that's nuts. I so they didn't they didn't tell me anything. They just said like we're not sure, but all your brain scans are clean. Go about your business. Um, so it's not really messing with me anymore. It's still like every now and then I think I feel it, but I can't tell. Um, so uh, I'm not going to lie, though. I kind of would like to have a nasal event. I feel like that's a life experience that, while probably incredibly disturbing, would be like one of those things that you could hang on to as, as like a real pinnacle of achievement. Mm. 
Hmm, could be. Yeah, but I haven't really eaten anything different in a while. I don't know. Yeah, it's it's not really bugging me around. Well, so they actually one of the things that we talked about was like it, it might be just straight allergy stuff where like it's like sinuses have drained into a gland somewhere and that's like pressing against a nerve or some weird stuff like that. Um, I don't know. They just they weren't super freaked out by it or whatever. So. But again, I don't know if they would like I think as long as they were like, hey, we don't see anything on the on the brain scans, you know, you're <laughs> as far as we're concerned, you're good. Mm, mouth bacteria getting the sinuses. That could be. Interesting. Yeah. I haven't been brushing my teeth as often as I should. That'd be hysterical. Not hysterical, but like maybe I'll go make sure I really brush my teeth. Because it's, I don't know. Yeah. And yeah, tons of stuff. So like. I'm not super worried about it because they weren't. And also, like, my face never did the thing where I couldn't, like, move my face and I, I could always move my arms and stuff. So I was relatively certain I wasn't having a stroke. Um, still a little bit weird. Yeah. So I, I don't know. I'm, again, I'm not worried about it. The, the biggest thing for me is, like, I really just want to see my MRI scans and have them. Because I think I'd be cool to have, even though they're, you know, those could be the most expensive photographs I've ever had taken of me. Um, yeah, the uh, and it's also a little wild too, because like with all the other stuff that's happened over the past few years, I was like, I've just been stable over the past couple months, so it's like, Are you fucking kidding me? Um, apparently so. It was a joke, haha. <laughs> uh, but no, whatever. It it is what it is. Not something I want to have to deal with, though. I'll tell you that. Uh, cause it's weird, but I, I don't think about it. Um, and it was, but it's funny though, the, the funniest part about it was, so I didn't vote early. I could have, but I was just like, ah, I think I'm going to vote on election day. Something about that seems like, you know, the thing to do to like, I was in the hospital. I was like, y'all are going to let me out of here soon. Right. Cause like, I, I haven't voted yet and I, I kind of want to go vote. And then two of the nurses were like, yeah, get out there, go vote. I was like, cool. So. Overall, an unremarkable MRI of the brain. <laughs> I he he clearly doesn't understand. Well, no, that just ju just goes to show that, you know, like. It's not the tool that matters, it's the it's the 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 craftsman who uses it, the craftsman who uses it, right? Um, your unremarkable MRI scan doesn't doesn't belie the massive <laughs> intellectual ability to spin words in ways that I've never seen before. <laughs> so the really interesting thing I think is going to be I actually had an MRI scan done when I was having my manic episode. And then so like three years ago and then I have another one today and I want to get them both and I want to like see like anything change here like because it might have and like is my brain because you're supposed like your brain supposedly swells during man uh, manic episodes. So who knows maybe it'll be like or something but I'm I'll post I'll post it on the discord when I finally get them. Um, I've actually got to go I, I don't even know how you go get them I gotta like call their medical records thing or something I'm go. I don't know, walk down there with a USB drive or something. Get it figured out. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to get them. That, I've never actually seen what a CT scan looks like. Mm, yeah, that was the machine. Oh, so that's a CT scan, huh? It still just blows me away that we can like uninvasively zap through and like see stuff in our heads or body, body, whatever. This is funny because this is more like the MRI machine that I was in. I guess that was a CT scan too. I don't really remember. It all kind of fuzzed together. 
They're scanning a mummy. Oh, of a tiny mummy. That's really what they were doing. Yeah, the one that I was kind of bummed about um, was what I was really hoping, or what would have been really awesome would have been, I don't know what scan, it, there's like some scan that shows you brain activity, like act, like real time brain activity. I would have loved to have seen that one. Cause like, I'm pretty sure, you know, manic episode, everything was firing all over the place, um, would be my guess versus, you know, not that. Um, so I don't know, I don't know which scan does that. Uh, but I, I don't think it's the MRI, which is the only one they did when I was in there the first time. Yeah, I think MRI is magnetic resonance imaging, right? Yeah, magnetic resonance. So I'm guessing magnets are there. Oh, look, at these are the same images. It's basically the same thing. They stick you in a round thing and it zaps your head. So weird. Yeah, the MRI thing was funny because it was like the woman's there. She's like, it's going to be 20 minutes. I'm like, Okay, I'm just gonna sit here then. Like, the the craziest part was that like they put an IV in my arm, and I do not like that. It's the first one I've ever had, and I'm not good with it. So, she had to like fill me up with some weird like fluid stuff that you can see through the scanner better or whatever. Just like super crazy stuff. Uh, all right, what am I gonna do? Where to kill this? Yeah, contrast. Yeah. Contrast dye or something. Let's see what this one does. Ooh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Yeah, it's probably like tie dye. <laughs> Today you get purple. Yeah, I can't wait to see him. The, uh, I've, I've had it on my list for however long to go get the other ones, the old ones. But now that I've got like two to get to and I can compare them, I'm definitely in. All right, let's run this puppy and see what happens. So processing it, grabbing a file, finding the scenes. Uh, not random pictures, random videos. Um, so... I can't remember if I've told you part or any of this. So I'll just kind of repeat the whole thing. So YouTube has an aud that free audio library that I think you turned me on to. So I downloaded a couple thousand of those. And what I'm doing is I want to assemble videos to then re-upload them as videos instead of just MP3 files. Um, and I did a few with just a static image, but I decided I want to go through and do videos. So... Um, I'm banging against NASA's image and video API to randomly pull down a video that I then split out and pull scenes from and then reassemble back into a randomly assembled music video to then re-upload into YouTube. I don't really know why I'm doing it, but it just seemed like a fun thing to do. So that's where all this is headed. Um, oh, and it busted. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So that's, that's cool. It actually, I think it made the clips. Yeah, so it just split all the clips. Yeah, it's going to be kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, it's uh it's kind of ridiculous, um but it's also I'm using it as an exercise. Like each one of these things is really just kind of small chunks. Like nothing that I'm doing is overly complicated especially in the way that I'm breaking it apart, but I'm using it as kind of an exercise to use like the best practices in the industry of testing and the way that I'm approaching stuff to, to exercise those muscles. Cause it's a lot easier to exercise the muscles on the smaller things than on bigger things. Um, so it's a good way for me to kind of get my head around some of that stuff, especially like I really haven't used Python, this language that much. So it's, also, me getting more familiar with Python, getting familiar with the way that you use it, and getting with it's all idiosyncr idiosyncrasies, synchronicities. 
idiosyncraticies. I know what the word is. I can't say it right now. Um, idiosyncrasies, maybe. Um, and then the testing stuff where you go through. So like this file is what actually does stuff. This file tests the stuff that it does so that you can be confident that your code works. Um, and that's not something I have done a tremendous amount of, so I'm getting better and better at it. And the whole idea is like, you have all these little sections of like, I just want a few lines of code that guarantees that these few lines of code work. And you keep using all these little bitty bits, and then that's how you can kind of go through and assemble. Because what you'll often end up with, I actually don't even know if I've got other... So, uh, that's not awful. Um, old code that I wrote, there'd be one like method, one batch of doing stuff that would be this long, and it would actually do 10 different things when you called it. The goal with this style of development is anything you call only does the one thing so that you can very easily test it. And then you assemble the 10 things together by composition instead of just having one giant blob of stuff um, that is harder to use and harder to test. So that's the the kind of the methodology of it. Um, but this rear, cause like, so like normally this would be starting to get too many lines, but this piece of code is using a whole bunch of external stuff and you don't really need to test the external stuff. Like it's getting something from a web page. I don't need to test the code that gets it from a web page. Somebody else has already tested that. And like writing to a file is something that the code already does. I don't need to test it. So like this one doesn't really get a test. Um, but the ones that I'm doing are like this one, like I want to, this one, I want to like make a real specific short thing for it. Um, that's funny cause I'm, I couldn't figure out how to get some of this stuff tested, but going through it again, I kind of like, oh, here's a split that I can do. And I split out one part of it. And then that kind of shattered a few other things apart for me so that I could actually then kind of break back into them. Cause I was just getting this big blob of stuff. And I couldn't, I couldn't poke my way in to find a hook to basically get stuff out. Um, I, cause I kept looking for smaller things to pull. Um, but finally I just, ba I basically broke it in half. And then once I saw the halves, I could then identify the small things to go test. So it was a, a, a kind of a neat transition. Like, and I wouldn't have done that if I wasn't streaming, which is the other really interesting thing for me. I would have like, I just kind of would have like, ah, this would be fine. But like. The process of talking about it and talking out to the stream makes me think about it and do it differently, um, which is super interesting and really neat, and I like it. So I'm going to keep streaming. All right, let's figure out why this one didn't work. Oops, we don't need that one. So we ran our, this is the full assembly. So like when this thing goes, it's going it, to, it'll do it. Um, yeah, no, it's super cool. Like I, I'm, the, you, and you you talking about streaming was one of the reasons I was like, oh, streaming, you say. That sounds very interesting. All right, so here's, and so here, we can show you this real quick. So like, look at this name, clip error is not defined. So I know, and like, this is the best thing about things like Python or whatever. Like, so line 92, this is where you figure out how stuff broke. <laughs> Clips directory. So that's what broke. Um, and thankfully, I know how to fix that because that's one of the things I split out over here. I call it clips root dir. So if I put this, I think that works. Hang on a second. Let me make sure it auto completes it. Yeah, there we go. So it's going to get all the MP4 files. Yeah. So this thing goes through and it clips out. So it pulls down the original file here. Well, so it hashes the, the URL. So it makes a name for it with all these weird gobbledygook, pulls down the original file, takes the original file and splits it out into clips. And then the next thing is to go through and run the assembly and build the command to assemble. So list of clips. Yes. Yeah, so we're getting the list of all those files. We're picking one of them at random. We're getting the duration of that clip. If the duration is greater than two, we're going to add that clip to our list of clips, subtract it from the overall MP3, 
our, our overall time and then loop back until we basically hit zero. And then we're gonna make a command. Okay, so I'm gonna delete this one more time. This is some, some things like, right now the only way I have to test this because it's going over the internet is to delete stuff and try it again. So it's save, so yeah, so this is it going out and getting the file. There's it doing the scene, so it got the file, now it's doing the scene detection. So like, here's our file, there's the original. It's looking at it right now. We've got this clips directory. Once this gets finished. And the other cool thing is like, I'm using lots of other people's codes, like all the scene detection and splitting stuff. I didn't have to do any of that. Like, that's just a module. Uh, all I gotta do is call it. And I gotta pass it the right things but it's pretty easy to pass the right things for that one because it's basically just a file path and an output path. It's like, I can handle that. Uh, I think that's all you pass on. No, uh, you got to pass it some other parameters or whatever, but it's easy. And so now here's it splitting out the individual scenes. And so what I'm doing with this is I want to just get the video that I'm going to assemble. The first thing, that I, this is actually the second time I've done it. The first time I did it, I just grabbed random videos um, they're public domain videos and I cut out my own random sections of it because I tried scene detection stuff before with uh, with the software I'm using called FFmpeg and it just didn't work very well so I was like I just might as well grab random sections but I found a new thing that cuts out the scenes for me and it does a really good job it doesn't always get it right but it gets like 80 90 percent right so that I'm using those and that's what I feed into my engine that randomly assigns times to each one um, so it'll basically assemble them and do scene transitions, but it's going to be kind of all over the place. Uh, cause every scene, like I'll, I'm going to feed it 5,000 videos basically. So every switch in the scene will be from a completely different video. Um, almost certainly. So it'll be, I, I'm actually curious to see what it looks like. <laughs> um, I did, uh, I did, I think I did one Hang on a second. Is this live? Uh, yeah, this was all... This wasn't with the NASA stuff. Um, it was just some other footage that I had, but it was like... Yeah, I, yeah, whatever, it's fine. I'll find one with the NASA stuff when I actually get it. Oh, where'd that go? That was weird. Oh, it's still going. Oh, did I break it? Oh, no, there it goes. Oh, okay, so it's grabbing the second video. Cool. So I, I, I fed this to, again, it's kind of tricky to test this stuff. Um, because in order to in order to really run it, I need to run it. Um, but I didn't want to send it all 5,000 videos because basically every for everything that it would do, um, it, it makes a random pick from all the possible videos. So if I only give it two videos, it only ever downloads the two videos and then it goes and pulls clips from them, um, which is much easier than if you like all 5,000, every time I ran it, it would pull, you know, 10 or 20 videos, however long it took to fill up this, the time. Uh, but this will be interesting to see if it actually gives me the output that I'm expecting here, um, which will basically be a command that I can run to do the assembly of the clips. Which, yeah, that's really close. Oh, yeah, I can actually get rid of all this now, I think. My back code. That's much nicer. Yeah, see, I could split some of this stuff out to another method, another little section. So basically, you, you keep taking bigger sections apart and moving them into little sections and then reassembling them. Um, just because you can basically wrap your head around them and make sure that they're doing the right thing um, a lot easier. But yeah, let's see how this one goes. Yeah, the first time I tested it, though, I had like a 35 minute or 38 minute video clip. And I kept meaning to change the URL so that it wasn't it because every time it like every time I cleared it, it would have to pull that long video and then it would have to go forever to split it. Um, it only took like four times for me to go, okay, it's that's enough. I'm gonna stop this now and, and fix it.
but yeah, the um, the other aspect with this too is the once I get those, I wanted to do these videos in general, but then also that video thing I think I told you about where I'm trying to like do the synchronization thing with YouTube, um, so that like I can be listening to YouTube and you can have a link and you can listen in sync with me. Um, I need videos that I can use to test that on the stream while I make it that aren't going to get me copyright struck. So I'm going to use these same videos for that. I could have just uploaded some songs and whatever and just put images behind them and hadn't been done with it. But I wanted to do this project. So this project put the other one on hold for a little while, but like, I'm fine with that. Like there's no pressure for any of these things. It's just doing it. Um, but it'll be kind of cool actually, once I get that thing going. I've got I've got a pretty good idea about how to make that stuff happen. And how to sell it for ten million dollars. Maybe a hundred million. Because why not? Oh, wow, well, what took that long? Detecting scenes? This is doing the second video. Is it making them yet? Oh okay, yeah. Oh see this one's whoa, how long is that one? Oh, it's only three minutes, four minutes. That's a lot of scene changes for four minutes. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be just weird. Oh, the flash must have thrown it. That's exactly what it is. When the flash went off, it thought it was a scene. No, that was actually a scene change. Yeah, so these things are just going to be all over the place. Wait, I see a rocket ship in the next one. Yeah, the Cretan project or whatever it was. Why is this... taking so long? so weird yeah like I'm I'm really actually super surprised at the at the variation that we're already seeing with this I mean I guess I shouldn't be surprised but like oh the kissing couple again and of course there's not gonna be any audio because there's gonna be like I'm cutting all the audio and there's just gonna be a music bed over it or I guess some music it's not really a bad if it's on top. Uh, what do you mean? Sing them up with political speech, like cut, like cut split political speeches out and do the same thing. <laughs> Program something. Yeah. Synthesia, synthesia. Um, no, it's, it's kind of funny. Yeah, so the other one is, uh, why is this? I don't understand what's happening. Something weird is happening right now. Yeah, when the picture tone changes in the primary color palette of the video switch. Yeah, so uh, th this stuff, like I'm with you. This stuff has got me interested in like, what can you do with some of these aspects? Um, what can you use for triggers? There's, um, so for the song stuff, there's also, there's like beat detection stuff that you can do. Um, and then uh, there's all kinds of video processing stuff you can do as well. Um, but yeah, you can also do like real time text analysis, right? You can, I, yeah. So I, I haven't even started thinking about that stuff. That's awesome. Um, but it's now that I've got some of the, Oh, I think I know what's going on now that I've got some of the tools to, I know exactly what's going on.
I put something in the wrong place. It's cutting it several times. If not, storage path, get file from URL. This is why it keeps doing it. Stop. Yeah, one that I've always wanted to play with is, um, oh. User clip API. That's not what I'm looking for. What is this? I didn't know the United States had a GitHub. Congress, public domain data collections for the works of Congress, including legislation, amendments, and votes. Ha, 666 stars. Public domain images of the members of Congress. Ah. Uh. The United States .io. Oh, interesting. There's a bunch of open data stuff out there. US and state metadata. Oh, sorry, I was looking at C-SPAN. Yeah, like the the amount of stuff that's out there that like just like the cert you only ever see the surface level of most stuff so much of the time, like the top ten search results or whatever, and most people only go to like two and they just get such siloed stuff. There used to be way more of a connection to or closer but more drawn out to connections between things. Um But so all I do is like I just keep tabs on all this stuff. So um Open source API, because I like I don't necessarily remember this. Oh yeah, gov too. What does I want to do there? Um, gov gov code. I just tag stuff like this, so that like when I'm trying to go look for whatever. Um, APIs. So like here's just a bunch of the APIs that I found over time that. Or interesting to play with, uh, or interesting that I may play with at some point. <clears throat> but yeah, I've never seen that United States one before. That's cool. It's actually one of the things I'm curious to see if it's, if it's actually what they're doing. I doubt it. But one of the things that I'd like to see is um, so, like with GitHub and the version control systems, uh, well, it's a version control system to start with, or it's writing on Git, which is a version control system. So every time somebody makes a change, they commit it to the repository and basically, you know, you see all the changes or you've got the full history. But in addition to making the change, there's metadata that goes along with it. For example, who made the change? So you could see every single change that was made across the life of a bill and who specifically made that change. Um, and I don't think that's something we do right now, but I think that is something that would be awesome because you could actually go through and for every single bill, you could actually say, you know, this particular congressman made this particular change to this particular line that gave this amount of funding to these organizations or whatever. Um, and the stuff that you could like, they'll never do that because I don't think they want that tracking happening. But like that would be the goal for me to, to get to is to be able to see that because the the ability of the lens say like, OK, look, here's actually all the stuff that you did. Um, specifically like you know the bills are this big you actually wrote this entire section of it and you edited these three lines over here that did whatever um so that's where i'd like to do it you can do it now but it requires a person to move between sites um
faster version of the congressional record. So does the congressional record record show every change that everybody, and I don't, and I don't know this, um, but does that actually show every, like basically like if somebody changes one sentence, it shows all the stuff. Oh, cool. See, maybe they're already doing it. Interesting. Okay. I just feel like every time I've heard about it, it's always sounded like... Like it would go into a committee and then it would come out of a committee a completely different, like a very different thing, but like you wouldn't see who did what to the thing. Like there would be no responsibility other than the committee. Uh, and again, I may not this is all really far from my area of knowing what the hell's going on, but um, this is actually super interesting. Um, so if it's in the congressional, I wonder then if... If some of this may actually be in here. Oh, look at this. It's all in JSON. Maybe they've really done a bunch of this stuff and I just didn't notice about it or didn't know it. Oh, hang on. I went the wrong window. Oh, I've been here before. I don't remember what for. Yeah, I wonder if... Um, CR by index. All right, here we go. Browse by date, whatever. Central Remarks, House, Senate, Daily Digest. So it's funny. I used to see some of these. So when I went, I went to the Capitol and the White House, but mainly the Capitol a few times because my dad was a reporter there or whatever. Um, but I remember at one point we were in, we actually rode from, there's like a little tram that goes between the houses of the Capitol or the um, sides of the Capitol that somehow we got on. I don't remember because he's a reporter. But I also remember there are these big bins of books of paper that he pointed out to me. It was like, those basically are the laws. And like, it was crazy because they would like, they would print out all this shit. But it would, most of the time, most of it would never get seen. And then there'd be another version or whatever. And like, I, I may actually still, for a while, he gave me a couple copies. We just grabbed a couple out of the bin or whatever. He's like, here. Um, so I still I had a couple of those for a while. Um, I'm sure they're way long gone, but, um, yeah, it was, it had like all the official writing up top and all the stuff. It was kind of, kind of crazy. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. And this is also one of the things that it feels like a syntax thing for me in terms of like, I don't understand like the syntax of this stuff. But it, I'm sure it's like straightforward once you kind of get into it, right? Submission of concurrent and Senate resolutions. I knew there was a bunch of stuff up here and like there's also that data.gov, but I didn't know. See, I'm curious to play with this, too. I'm sure some people already are, but, like...
Interesting. Yeah, see, like, I wonder... Because it just, it always feels like in debate stuff, not, you know what I mean? Like, the political, I think you know what I mean. The political debate stuff, it's like... And I don't, I don't know... It feels like records aren't really in play, and maybe they aren't just because it's all emotion anyways, but, like... It seems really tough to basically pin down what people have done. And I'm only talking about this from the stuff that I, I don't pay much attention to it at all. Right. But like, it just feels, it feels like, and the, I'm sure these sites are out there, but it's basically like, look, here's, here's actual stuff that these people have done um, and specific things that they've made and why that would be, you agree with it or don't or whatever. Um, Yeah, so you could you could burn through and just diff across all of this. <coughs> do they do it? Does C-SPAN do it in text too, or just in the video? Text. Okay, interesting. Congress API. See, I don't know. It's just, it, it feels like there's, oh, busted. I just, I keep getting this feeling that like more and more data about more and more things is getting out there and we're still not used to using it yet. As we figure out how to use it, it will be, and I mean, I say that as somebody who is, that's my business, right? But like, it feels, it, we're still naive in what we're doing with it, right? Um, and so it's, it's going to be a weird um click your name under people uh under c-span oh there you go keeps throwing to the wrong window oh actually i'm gonna put this over to the side just so i don't get struck on copyright somehow yeah this is just a ton of metadata that they're just pulling in right so we actually do this too um we've got video loggers who just anything and everything that you can think of about every individual clip or shot um, they're just, they've got tons of keywords and they know what they're doing because they've done it forever. Um, but they just go back and forth on it all the time and just make the same stuff. And it's like, it's one of the, one of the tricks with it is getting the information actually back out of it. Uh, and so we're actually working on some stuff to basically go through and like take associations with like, here's what's happening on the course right now. How can we tie that back into this huge archive of footage that we've got and make it, make it run. Yeah, that's super cool. Votes against party majority. Three votes, voting record. 4.258.46. Recorded votes, 317. Yeah, missed votes, 335. Ooh, yeah. See, there's some interesting stuff here.
Yeah, I wonder how they're getting all this stuff. I mean, I'm sure it's probably just they built some robots that bounce across the you know data.gov or congress.gov or one of those sites. Um, especially that that United States. I, I I wonder if that United States votes. <laughs> Scraping votes, run votes, force fast. There you go. House Congress number 13. Source URL. Roll XML. Just look at that. That's how you get it. You just scrape those right there. Answering present. McCollum. Oh, hey, don't worry. I like whatever. I'm just messing around. It's all good. Um, it, this is actually super interesting now. Like now I have potential other projects. Um, cool. But have a good night. We'll see you. Oh, if you know their coders at some point, tell me who they are on Twitter so I can follow them. Um, but cool. Yeah, have a good night, man. We'll uh, we'll catch up soon. Stay out of the hurricane. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's see what this thing's going to do. All right, it should already have the videos. So, yeah, there we go. Just going to send it. There we go. So there's our. Yep. So we got two different videos coming in, two different things. That's our assemble clip. Later. So we can actually, I think we can run this. Let's see if this works. Oh, come on. By charm, you do so good on so many things, but not that. All right, let's see if this works. Whoops. Is that gonna work? Nope. Unhandled promise rejections are deprecated. We broke something. Let's throw that to some place we can actually see it. Oh, I don't have anything. Do you have concat.json? Yeah. Ah, there's nothing in it. Let's put that back in. Where did we have it? There it is. Is that it? Yeah. Oh, now we got to count. Uh, let's actually just try and make the counter. How many counts do we need? We need to do... First of all, let's clean this up. See if there's anything else we can clean up here. Holy crap, it's late. Here, let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. So there's eleven. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And we really only need ten. Let's bounce that. Save that. Oh, it's working. It's so funny because I was basically already there. Um I just refactored everything. That's what it amounts to.
Oh, it's doing more stuff. Render. Yeah, so the, the last thing that's need to be done is automatically generate the config file with the transitions in it, randomize the transitions, and then overlay the audio. Oh, come on. Test data. Oh, did I not have that directory? Is that what just happened? Ah, crap. All right, one more time. Get rid of these. I'm really curious about all this. Uh... C-SPAN footage, no, it's copyright and licensing, so probably not. Okay, so you could, as long as you keep C-SPAN stuff on there, you can use it. C pan. Ha, <laughs> that's Pearl. Oh, using recognition, yeah. I don't know what ProPublica is. Sounds familiar, but who knows? All right, let's see how Patch Arm's doing. Oh, that's not where I'm looking. I'm looking here. Ah, uh, transcoding. Okay. Sounds better. 42%. I like it. It's a good number. Office expenses. House of Representatives, Representatives publishes quarterly reports detailing official office expenses by lawmakers. Ha! Huh. Oh, this is interesting. Bills, votes, whoops, statements. Interesting, interesting. Oh, there we go. So we should see. Oh my god. Dev, video assembler, test data, output. See what it looks like.
Oh, I do want some of these to be shorter. I don't have the randomization of the length of the clips in yet. And also the clips, there's only two videos in there so far. So I need to add the randomization of the times into the clips. Also, that's too long. Oh, this is going to be so weird. Just looped. Yeah, it's doing the same batch again. What's going on? Oh, well, that's different. And that was the starting one. What's new? Maybe there's just not enough. The ra I guess the random just didn't have too many to pick from. And these all might just be similar. Yeah, I think it was similar. It was over there. Oh, we need to add a fade out to them, too. Oh, it did just fade out. Okay, that's cool. I like it. We're in good shape. a bunch of stuff right now to see what happens yeah so we need to do hmm so it's got the getting clip list clips this should actually be I may hoist some of this stuff out too. Pressing number three, you get the duration. Yeah, you list the clips or output. So you get the video, set up the video, you get it and clip it. So it may already be there and it may already be clipped. We could do get clip and have it do all this stuff on the video side and only return like, yeah. And then only return clips that are more than two seconds and just return a clip with a time. Yeah, I need to add, I need to figure out how to add randomness, random clip length. So like these, some of these clips are going to be longer than I want. Yeah, 12 seconds is pushing it. 16 is definitely too long. Because I mean, 16 seconds... No, so that's actually two clips in there. Three. I just didn't catch them. He brought his bagpipes to the International Space Station. That's kind of cool. I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to bed, he said, mumbling. Why did some of those other clips seem so long?
That one's 24. Oh, that was all one big long clip. It just missed the scene cuts on that. And it just hit that clip twice. That's what happened. Okay. I think it hit that clip too. Yeah, probably seven or eight seconds. And I and I also want to figure out how to do a thing where it's like, even if you have randomization up to, I want like a bell curve for it. But yeah, that's probably what to do it. It's find like a bell curve distribution for like the random distribution of like 12 seconds is the longest, but I don't want that to happen very often. And two seconds is the shortest, but I don't want that to happen very often. Like keep them more in the four to seven range or whatever. Uh, I'm sure that's out there too. But that will be for another time. Uh, right now we're in pretty good shape with this. This is cool. I'm getting close. Like I just made a ton of progress on this. Even like even though I didn't change that much um, today, in terms of the effect, I was kind of already getting to a lot of this. Um, it's now got some tests behind it in a way that I like, and I did that split that I really like. Um, so like yeah, all these tests are new, and that's I like that. Um, I've got some more stuff out here that I think I can pull out and roll over, but I also like the splitting of classes. It's good. I'm very happy with this. That'll do it for now. Y'all have a good one. We'll see you. Be kind. Take care. Take care. Bye.